Hi there everybody, Nathan B here with another video for you. Uh, this time it is on setting up a Cantabo VPS server in the cloud to run your full or light node. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so the website URL is contabo.com. Um, before we get into this, one of the, the things that I noticed here is that uh, this last point here is that uh, this service or the, these providers have been around like, you know, nearly 20 years, which is uh, pretty interesting. I, I hadn't seen this line item before. Um, so yeah, I haven't been around for like one or two years. That is quite impressive. Uh, also, their business model here is just about deploying VPSs and providing that service to their customers. So other cloud providers like AWS, larger ones, AWS and Azure, they have an enormous amount of other infrastructure services outside of just VPSs with software services and PaaS services and, and, and things like that. So um, yeah, this this business model of Contabo really aligns to what our needs are is just deploying a VPS. Um, so it does make sense and probably why their costs are down so much. But anyway, what I did here is I clicked on this sign up option here. I entered an email address and a password. It then sent a code to that email address. I then entered that code. I then added my personal information with the credit card. I tried PayPal. It didn't work for me. Um, and then that was basically it, like registering any new account online. Um, once I got that all set up, I was able to just, you know, enter my login email and password and I was presented with this page here. Now one of the first things I personally am going to do if I use this provider is click on this customer detail option here under control panel and go all the way down here and like with any online accounts I would be enabling this two-factor authentication um, using some the Google Authenticator app via Android or iOS um, or the Microsoft one, that would be a security suggestion I would have. Let's go back here and the next step here is to click on down here under a new order, which is a VPS here. Okay, if we click on that. I'm going to change this to USD and save that. Now, looking at this, um, the options here around um, costs per month, this is the one here, this VPS large, which I had talked about in my previous videos because it matches our white paper. All right, so just to pause in the video here uh, before I continue, because uh, I get a comment on one of my YouTube videos about um, how to actually make this cheaper. So uh, you can see here, Robert Banner, uh, appreciate that comment because I missed this and I think a lot of people are gonna be super excited to, to, see, to see this. Now my number has been around the 26 US dollars per month to run this cloud uh, VPS L for large, large, I assume, which met all the, uh, specific requirements as per the white paper. But if you select this 1199 option here, um, it has six, which is two more than what we require 16 gig of Ram, which is less than the 30, but um, more than the eight required. Um, the challenge is here is the 40, the 400, excuse me, uh, gigabyte SSD and the white paper suggests we need 500 gigabytes as it stands today. 
But if you scroll down here, and I'm just going to add the East US, um, you can actually, what Robert showed me is you can click on this 600 gig for $2.50 extra um, a month, and that's 100 gig more than the 500 gig requirement, right, for only $2.50 extra. All this is free with the operating system being Ubuntu Linux uh, 2204. So if you see here over in the right hand side, it comes out to be $17.99, $18 uh, a month US, and it covers all our needs as per the white paper. So Robert, thank you so much for, for uh, Show, show, making that comment on, on one of my YouTube videos. Uh, I think a lot of people are going to be pleased with that instead of obviously paying the, the, tw the 26 per month. Um, so I'll now pause this video and get back to the setup. I'm hoping that with an update to the white paper and hopefully a reduction in the storage needs for the Lightnode owners that you could even get away with this seven dollar a month option here because the specs are very decent here the only challenge is this 200 gig ssd doesn't meet that 500 gig requirement today um but you know with the light nodes hopefully you don't need so much storage for the ssd and that is a great cheap option but for this video i'm going to select the 20 dollar per month one here all right now, I'm going to leave it just for the month option here. It does not matter if you select the 12 months um, for the cost of it. It's not cheaper. There's no discount. But I'm going to select ECUS for myself. I'm going to look at the 800 gig SSD free option here. And with the operating system, I'm going to pick Ubuntu Linux here. I'm going to uh, select the latest one, 2204. I'm going to add, uh, add a password here for myself. The rest of it, I'm going to leave as default. Now, if I go over to the right here, you can see my order summary. I'm only picking one server for my full all light node. It could be either. Uh, you can see the contract period and what we selected before. There is this one time setup fee totaling out at let's say 33 us dollars now what happens here when i click on next for some reason it changes me to e um, to your and i emailed them about this to see if um you know what's going on um because my settings are based on um, the united states but regardless i'm just going to go ahead and um order that Okay, so the payment is processing and yeah, it does take a little bit to get this through, uh, which it does say three hours here. Um, so I'm gonna come back when that's all set up and I get the email for that purchase. All right, so I jumped onto my email and I see um, a first email just about the payment and the order status, but then not too long after, it didn't take three hours, it only took about 30 minutes, I received this email here that is saying, hey, um, you know, welcome to Contabo, your VPS is actually set up here. Um, and yeah, here's the IP address, the server which I ordered, um, whereabouts, um, the password, the user account. Um, so so yeah, let, let's uh, let's see if I can connect now with. I'm going to select this IP address here. So I'm just going to copy that out. Now I'm going to jump across to this Putty tool that I've been using in a couple of previous videos. 
So I need to add that IP address to connect my new Contabo um, VPS that I deployed. So I'm going to click on open here. Um, okay. It, it gives me this message about, hey, you know, you haven't connected to this one again. Are you okay to do this? I'm going to accept that. And let me just add this a little bit larger so we can all see it here. Change it to a font of 20. That usually works. Apply that. Okay. Now the username is going to be root. I'm going to enter that. There was a password that I provided in the setup wizard, which was in this earlier video. I'm going to enter that. There we go. Um, welcome to um, Ubuntu, so 22.04. That was the operating system I selected. And you can see that they have their own, oops, they have their own splash screen here, Cantabo, but we are, this server is hosted by Cantabo, you know, um, and I am logged on. So that is all it is. Um, now, just to reiterate, for some of the questions I had about, uh, I've had in previous videos is like, okay, but now, now how do we set up the, the Safu X node piece of it? I, I don't know that yet. We don't know that yet. Um, what will happen is that the Safu X devs are going to give us instructions on what to do next, how to install the Safu X, um, software, how to configure it. Um, and then once you get your, you know, purchase your full light node and you receive that NFT uh, token on your wallet, then how to configure that on what you see on the screen. But really what I'm doing in these videos is giving you a way just to build that, that VPS in a particular cloud provider. What are the costs? And, you know, we are ready right now to go, um, you know, for testnet. But I hope that was useful. Um, stay tuned for my next video because I think it's going to be really good where I look at um, the performance of the three providers that I think I'm looking at um, and what the numbers are around there. So stay tuned for that. But all right. Thanks for watching. And until next time, bye for now.